Trisha Gibson to wind up. I know that I have a couple, just two or three minutes to, 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 to sum up the debate, and I want to begin by telling the Minister that I am beyond disappointed. We have heard nothing new today. We have seen again a huge lack of any real and meaningful engagement from the UK government, and that lack of engagement really has to end. It is dismissive and it is disrespectful to this entire generation of women. Yep. The speeches Giving speeches on the history of pensions is not what this debate was about, yep. and it does nothing to address the, pension, the women's pensions which were stolen and the suffering that has been caused as a result. This debate was not a debate about life expectancy. It was a debate about the theft that has been perpetrated upon these women. These women were often excluded from company and workplace pensions, they raised families, they cared for relatives, and they have now been abandoned by this UK government. To be told that there is no solution, as we heard from one member of the government benches today, um, is quite frankly an insult. It is not good enough and this campaign will go on. Madam Chair, Brexit is entirely consuming UK politics, mm -hmm. but we can and we will continue to keep this issue firmly on the agenda. These women are our mothers, they are our sisters, they are our grannies and they are our wives. And this UK government has not heard the last of this. The entire um, uh, state pension system has been undermined by this travesty. A social contract has been broken. And I would remind this place that an injustice anywhere is a threat to justice everywhere. Yes, Patricia. Yeah. Yeah. The question is... <laughs> okay.